Howdy folks, General back to you. I want to talk to you. Now this is, what I'm fixing to talk to you about is just an opinion. I mean, there's a lot of prayer in it, a lot of thought in it, but it's still just my opinion. So don't go off half cocked and, and start worrying about this. I'm just telling you what uh, what I've read, what I've summarized. It's just strictly my opinion. I want to talk to you about the bark of the beast. Now, it's coming. Okay? And uh, a lot of people have thought, well, it's going to be a tattoo on the back of your right hand or on your forehead. Well, maybe not. You know, that chip technology doolally that we've been having the vet put in our dog and cat, whatever, you know, our pet, where it can be scanned and it's got a, a special number in there, and that number's in a database somewhere that cross-references to your name and where you live and your phone number. And then you pay a certain amount to keep that active. And uh, that chip, evidently the scanner that scans it gives it enough energy to activate and it spits out the information it's got in it which is just that number it is like about a uh, a dozen numbers or something other or two dozen numbers and uh, then the computer cross references that and uh, they call you and, and say hey we got your pet here <clears throat> all right now that technology has been going for 20 years or more i got a feeling and it's like i say it's just my opinion you'll either have uh the government will put uh one of those chips in the back of your right hand or in your forehead you won't be able to see it but the scanner will scan it. See? And that'll tell who you are. You know, any bank account information that is necessary for to buy and sell. You won't be able to buy or sell without that mark. Money will be, you know, paper money will be gone. They started that Bitcoin stuff. I don't know whether that had anything to do with it or not. I think that's kind of petered out. But what I'm telling you, money, paper money, won't be used anymore. You might have $50,000 of it hid somewhere. <laughs> it's just good for nostalgia. The the mark of the beast will be a completely controlled thing. I mean, one entity will control the world. Okay, that entity would will, will be the devil and his antichrist and his false prophet. Now, you can read all of this stuff in Revelation in the Bible. Tell you all about it. It's all in a prophecy. And so far, just about every prophecy has come true. You know, we're right in the last days. The stage is being set for this. To put an old... old uh, adage out there the fit is fixing to hit the shan if you get my drift on that you have to have this mark it's called the mark of the beast and it says he causes all both small and great free and bond 
doesn't make any difference your stature whether you're the ceo of a company or whether you're a, a laborer mopping the floor it doesn't make any difference if you don't have this particular mark in the back of your right hand or in your forehead you can't buy nothing you can't sell nothing That's going to put a crimp on a lot of stuff. How are you going to pay somebody to mow your grass? You know, paper money won't be worth a flip. The government is going to be able to control everything. Okay. Now, here's the kicker. There's always a kicker. If you take that mark, you're, you're subjecting yourself to the devil. You're pledging yourself to him. In other words, when you die, you're going to hell. You might be a Christian, a Bible-believing Christian, but if you take the mark, you have just crapped in your mess kit <laughs> to make an old story, uh, an old saying, clean enough to say. Okay. Not something you want to do. The first three years will be hunky-dory. Peace all over the place. The last three and a half years or so, well, I feel for you. I'm not planning on being here. That time will be during the tribulation period. We understand it. When uh, God, and only God knows, and only, only God the Father knows this. Jesus doesn't even know this. Angels don't know it. Devil don't know it. Only God the Father knows when Jesus is going to come back in the sky to take his, his uh, people. If you're a born again Christian, he'll take you in the sky. It says two will be in the field. One will be taken, one will be left. Two will be at the cistern. One will be taken, the other one will be left. Two will be at grinding. One will be taken, one will be left. In other words, there's always going to be a witness wherever somebody's taken. And not everybody's going to be taken. And there's going to be a lot of Christians that ain't took because they're not doing the will of God. They're going to be left here. So if you hadn't got your, your uh, P's and Q's right, you you just accepted Christ and and you're not doing anything about it. You're gonna be very upset. You don't. I've heard it say said. You don't do works to get saved. You do works because you've been saved. Okay, it's a gift of God. You're saved by grace, not by works. It's the gift of God, lest any man should boast. And I can't think right offhand of the, the scripture that came out of it. It's, I've got it on one of my other videos. I'm just talking to you right here. Talking to you.
you got to get your stuff together with God. Because once you die, you got the judgment coming. You can't change your mind. Well, I, you know, I'll, I'll come to your side. No, it don't work that way. Once you croak, that's it. Get yourself right with God just as soon as you can because you don't know when you're going to croak. You know, you don't know when you're going to kick the bucket, the buck, buck, bucket, okay? You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to put any scenarios out there because I don't want to, I don't want to taint nothing. I'm just putting this out there for food, for thought, for you. You hear this? Watch it again sometime. If you forget what I said, watch it again. That's the good thing about a video. It's there for you to watch. And you can hit that uh, share button and send it to your, your friends. Because if, if they're your friends, you care about them. And you care about where they're going to go after they croak. Okay? So pass this link to your friends. At least let them see it, get something from it, ponder it, and hopefully come to Christ before they die. And since you don't know when that's going to be, just the sooner the better that you can do it, go ahead and do it and get it out of the way and get squared away with God and stay squared away with God. That way when you do die, there's no worries. You're going to heaven. Because if you don't do what I'm telling you, you're going to be very upset with yourself for a long time. In one of my other videos, I said, go stand in front of a hot oven with the door open. That'll give you an idea of what your future is. You know, if you're, if you're not saved when you die, except it'll be a whole lot hotter than that. This body right here, this, this flesh, when you croak, it's just going to rot back to the earth. It's going to be very smelly, and it, it'll just rot back to the dust. That's what it does. But your soul, your spirit, you are living in that body. It's necessary to have that body to live in while you're on earth. After it dies, you just get a new body that never dies. It's, it's continuous. Everybody gets a new body. That's what it says in the Bible. Everybody gets a new body that dead doesn't die. So people that don't think about, well, you know, I'm I, when I die, I'm just going back to the earth. Well, your body is, but your soul ain't. Soul's going to live forever. And it's going to be subjected, subject to its surrounding, either pure peace and love, and harmony and being right there with God all the time or if you think hell here going through hell here eh, that, that's just a that's the icing on the cake it says that uh, you'll be thrown into hell and at a certain time Hell will be thrown into the lake of fire, which is a, 
uh, burning sulfur that never goes out. Does that sound like fun? And if you're not saved when you die, that's where you're going. Now, the mark of the beast. Let's get back to that. Once, uh, there's going to be a false prophet I mean, we've got a bunch of false prophets running around. I mean, just face it. They're in the news. I, it's nothing I, I'm telling you that you don't already know. But there's going to be one particular false prophet. And then the Antichrist. And then most probably... The beast will be a computer, a computer-generated something. And uh, it'll make you take this, this uh, form of buying and selling. And the angels and stuff will, will fly through the, the air advising people not to take it. Everybody will see them. Don't take the mark of the beast. But you have to have it in order to buy or sell. You can't eat. You know, unless you, you fix it to yourself. Off the land. You got to have that mark. Well, if you, if you got the mark... That's fine and dandy. You can buy and sell, but by taking the mark, you're giving your life to this to Satan. You're going to hell when you die. So the thing is, you've got to get saved. Now this is after Jesus had already come and got his people. You've got to get saved be tortured almost to the death because you won't take the mark because you know what your future is going to be if you take it. Then they'll, after they torture you, they'll behead you either with a guillotine or machete or something. They'll behead you But you won't go to hell when you die here. Okay? This this time you're on earth is just a little tweak from time immemorial. It's billions of years of uh, life after you leave earth. It says so in the Bible, and I believe what the Bible says. And I done talk long enough. Just giving you my opinion. The mark of the beast. If you, if you walk into a store, the scanners will see you. If you've got a mark, go on in, do your thing. It'll track you. As soon as you get done, scan yourself. Going out the door, it'll be automatically deducted from your bank account. Nobody can copy anything, so there's no more stealing. If somebody cuts your head off, and then you're ruined because you've you've accepted the mark anyway. So here's here's if you. Try to go in a uh, a uh, through a door. The scanner is going to see that you don't have the mark. They'll probably shoot you with a paintball or something to light you up, and you'll be arrested and uh, taking you somewhere or another to make you take the mark. And if you don't, they'll torture you. And if you still don't, they'll cut your head off. Now, ever, 
all of this stuff is tied together to keep track of us. So, you can look at the signs of the time and the, the level of control that's already there, and it's all already been published. And, you know, the cat's out of the bag. You're talking about the one world government and the beast and all that stuff. It's in the news. It's just a matter of time when they push the button. Might ought to go ahead and get saved. Save you from a whole lot of that. All right. Y'all like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Make comments. Now, remember now, this is just my opinion. Just my opinion. Only. You can check the news out yourself. All right. It's general. I'm out.